My name is Kathy, and I am here with my son Nicholas, who is 11. He's a very, very sweet and loving boy, but was nonverbal and struggled to hear us, struggled to respond to us, even receptively, not just he was nonverbal, but he didn't even hear us talking, so there was very little response. He couldn't get himself dressed, he didn't he didn't know how to do anything. He was just in this world of his own, sweet, not unhappy, but just on his own little island. And it was hard because we couldn't really reach him. We were faced with this option of flying to a foreign country. The fear of the unknown is always present. But there's also that fear of if we don't try, what what are what are we missing and we didn't want to miss an opportunity after the first round of stem cells we have seen nicholas all i can say is he he woke up he suddenly could hear me he could look at me he could understand me he still wasn't conversational but he felt more alive than he had ever been. As the years, his language is growing so much, tremendously. He can put sentences, whole, whole words together to make a sentence. He can tell me if something hurts. He can tell me if something is funny. He can tell me if he's happy. So much more expressive with his language and that definitely grew after stem cells. It is beautiful as a parent to see your child wake up and know that he has all this beautiful stuff inside and now he's able to enjoy the world around him, not be overwhelmed by the world around him. It, it's freedom for him and it's freedom for us. We as parents of autistic children obviously worry about long term and it's beautiful to know that he is making advances. He enjoys it here, he enjoys the staff, they are incredible, they are funny, they understand the children. He loves coming and that is a testament to the Simstel Institute because they create an environment that kids want to come back because everybody around here is smiling and encouraging and happy.